Once again, I'm Dr. Harvey White. We're here at Vessel Health today to perform a radiofrequency ablation on a 53-year-old female. The issue with vein disease in this instance is one of an incompetent valve in the venous system of the legs. And when the valve becomes incompetent in the leg, there's a column of blood from the heart down to the feet that increasingly distends the vessels. And we found that in the case of this patient. I mentioned that venous reflux disease can have several manifestations. They can include issues of pain and swelling in the leg, or in this instance, there's actually been some changes in the color of the leg around the ankle. And our plan is to drape the patient, to insert a small catheter in the back of the leg, and through that catheter advance what we call a radio frequency ablation catheter that you'll see up to the appropriate point and then gradually warm the, cat warm the vein and shrink it as we do so. so. The first step is to introduce a small tube or catheter in the leg. And to do so, we put some local lidocaine or novocaine anesthesia is a small wheel in the back of the leg in the skin. This whole procedure is done as an outpatient in an office setting, taking about an hour to do. It, it, we do not use general anesthesia. Some patients require a small amount of Valium or relaxing medicine, but in general, it's quite painless. So we'll proceed with uh, introducing our catheter into the vein on the back of the leg. And the first step will be to put a little bit of Novocaine in the leg. We've introduced a small wire in the short saphenous vein on the back of the leg, and then introduced this catheter over the wire. This is a commonly used technique in accessing arteries and veins in the circulation. to see if we have some blood, and we do. So that's the uh, proof positive that we've entered the appropriate blood vessel. In radiofrequency ablation, we use a, a small catheter that has a seven centimeter antenna on the tip of it. It emits microwaves, just like a microwave in an oven does. We're gonna advance this catheter through the sheath that I've put in the back of the leg up to an appropriate position at the back of the, of the, uh, of the uh, knee. And then as you'll see in a stepwise fashion, as we apply energy, we will march this catheter back in several steps to the entry point in the back of the leg. This is the instrument that generates the microwaves or radio frequency energy that we use during ablation. The next step is to advance this catheter, lights please, to the appropriate location in the back of the leg. Mm -hmm. As I back in, we'll see the catheter come into the lumen of the vein right there. There's a bright echo. We've introduced the catheter from its entry site to the back of the knee. The next step in this multi-step process is to provide some fluid anesthesia. We surround the catheter with a combination of water lidocaine or novocaine and sodium bicarbonate. We provide tumescent anesthesia along the length of the catheter. And now in a stepwise fashion, we'll apply heat up to 120 degrees Celsius in three stages along the vein. As I apply the heat, we'll look at the radio frequency generator, 11, 10, 9, for a total of 20 seconds. Next, we'll withdraw the catheter as I mentioned, in several steps. So I'm bringing the catheter back as we speak. John's watching. On the ultrasound screen, we can see the catheter. That's our fourth or fifth treatment? That's our fifth. Fifth treatment, the catheter is gonna be removed now. And in essence, the procedure is near complete. While we're getting ready to apply a dressing, John will rescan the vein, ensuring that we've got an adequate treatment. We complete our procedure with a three-layer compression dressing that basically keeps that vein nice and compressed or closed as it heals. And we'll leave this dressing on and for two days, 
take it off, and then apply a support hose. To summarize, we performed a radio frequency ablation on this young 53-year-old female's right. left leg. We had already performed a procedure on her right leg several months ago, and as displayed in this video, we performed a procedure that involved advancing a catheter in the small vein in the back of the leg, applying heat in the form of microwave energy and sealing the vein off, lastly putting on a wrap at the end, which will stay on for two days. So that is a radiofrequency ablation.